In the previous video, we have exposed some parameters to the user and discussed how the dungeon generator algorithm works overall. This probably should have been at the beginning of the series, but nevertheless, let's continue by implementing the corridor creating algorithm. First, let's go to the dungeon generator script. Here, I want to call the road creation in the calculate rooms method. We might rename it into calculate dungeon and we will return both rooms and corridors to our dungeon creator script so let's create a uh, some spaces between the return value so here let's call corridors generator it will be a new class let's create uh, call it co corridor generator equals new corridor generator Okay, and var corridor list equals corridor generator dot create corridors. So here we will want to pass all page nodes, and actually, this really isn't the best name. Let's rename it to all nodes collection. And let's pass here also a corridor width. Okay, so we need to pass this corridor width in the constructor, in the definition of this method, in the declaration. So let's call int corridor width. Okay, where do we call this method? Dungeon creator. So let's create, uh, yes, we have this corridor width here exposed. Good. So now we can just add one more parameter. Let's go back to the generator. And now we need to generate this corridors generator class. So generate, generate it in the new file. Okay. Let's create the constructor we don't need to create. We need to create create corridor. And let's change the name. Corridor. Okay. Generate method need to finish this line of code okay and let's go to the corridors generator class okay so first of all let's change both of those to public the class definition and method definition public great so we want to return not an object but a list of nodes okay I think it's list of node. Your rate. So first of all, we need to create our list of node corridor list equals new list of nodes. A queue of room nodes. We call structure to check. Structures to check equals new q and we will take all nodes nodes collection and call order by descending we need to alt enter and using link okay and let's format it a bit and here we want to so sort our nodes uh, order our nodes by the index so we want to start with the lowest indexes and uh, gradually move up so let's call node lambda expression and node dot three layer index and at the end we will call tool list okay so now we have a queue filled with nodes starting from the nodes with the lowest index and gradually moving up so we create a while loop uh, structures to check uh, if uh, the count is greater than zero then we will perform our check so var node equals structures to check dq and if our node has children so if ch children count equals zero we simply continue 
because we cannot create a, a road between nothing okay and if it is not true we'll create corridor node like, let's call it corridor equals new corridor node and here we want to pass node child list node zero and node uh, children list node one and corridor with okay let's finish this line and next we uh, add the uh, our new corridor to our corridor list add our corridor okay and at the end we simply return our list of corridor uh, so corridor list so we need to create this method alt enter generate a new file okay and we need to go back to our dungeon generator uh, no our corridors generator and create the constructor for it so create constructor okay now let's go to the corridor node and in here we want to corridor node to inherit our node okay and now we need in the co uh, corridor constructor we need to call base and pass null as the parent because we have passed null as the parent for our corridor we will not achieve this effect where one corridor connects to the other one you could certainly try adding the corridor into some uh, node as its child and trying to connect uh, corridors to corridors nevertheless this will be a pretty lengthy class, so we will start coding it in the next video.